Hey, I'm Ethan Becker. I've been in animation for a hot minute. I've been working in supervising, story, design. I want to share with you this little mini-series I've been whipping up that I want to get produced called Delinquents. It's about really bad kids and seeing if they can change in the United States of America. Think of this as the intensity of Breaking Bad with emotional Pixar moments, shot in the style of A24. This is extreme and emotional and is sprinkled with a little dark humor. And we've seen nothing like this before in animation and it hits home for me pretty darn hard. And uh, I feel like a lot of people can relate to this story. So Jake is on the run. He just shot up a football game and he killed a kid. And that kid's mom is chasing Jake across the country. She's pissed off, she's, she's gonna kill him. All right, but Jake has got a plan, right? He's trying to stay alive just long enough to finish his mission. He's heading towards the biggest music festival in the United States where he plans on creating as much pain and destruction as possible. He's a bad kid, he's a, he's a really bad kid. But just before he leaves, he gets stuck with these two tagalongs, a gangster wannabe and a Southern Baptist sweetie pie. This is what the show is. These three delinquents, a good kid, a wannabe killer, and an actual killer, create this dysfunctional family and do bad things to solve their problems. So together they take this road trip across the United States from coast to coast and they learn what it means to be men. They're angry and they're funny and they don't give a flip about nothing and they rob and they hurt and they scam. They're just, they're bad kids. Or at least they try really hard to be. So I like to think of this as Avatar, but instead of Appa, we're in an RV. And instead of saving the world, our protagonist, Jake, he's, he's trying to end this thing. So gradually we go into each character's past and we talk about things that nobody really likes to talk about. Nobody wants to see. Like shit that we've never seen before in animation. Like getting run through the foster care system or going through the juvenile system or little kids being fed drugs from a really young age by their parents, being raised around anger and violence and guns, you know, the stuff that me and my brothers went through when, when we were kids. And uh, it's kind of rooting for those kids to overcome that stuff and also kind of getting pissed at them when they don't. So my dream is to work with professionals, right? Not just writing professionals, I'm talking about therapists. I'm talking about Dr. K. I love Dr. K. He is a legit Harvard level therapist. He's already done interviews over this type of stuff. Go check his stuff out, he's amazing. Aaron Stark did a TED talk called I Was Almost a School Shooter. I talked with him and the stuff that he went through was rough. The stuff that you have to go through to get to that point is god awful. But nobody wants to show that stuff, right? We don't want to talk about it. So at first I wanted to show a little sympathy for Jake, the school shooter, right? To show you that he's not such a bad kid after all. But the more that I wrote his character, the more that I realized He's just not likable. He is not likable, and that's that's the reality of it. He's annoying as hell, he's selfish, but can he change, right? Will he end up going through with these plans to hurt as many people as possible? Can he even change? And that's all that I can do is pose that question. This is not about making a statement or anything. This is more about posing questions. Can somebody like that change? And we might not even like the answer. Okay, so here's the world. It's America. You know how in Japanese anime, it paints a clear picture of what Japan is. The culture, the people, the food, everything. We don't have that as Americans. What do we got? We got Scooby-Doo. That's what we got. So now think about Channel 5 News. This is what I'm talking about. They travel in an RV across the United States. We get a truthful taste of American culture. Real people. That's what I'm talking about. All right, not some silly willy made up story. I'm talking about real stuff. I want to see locations that we've never seen before in animation. I'm talking about Walmart. I'm talking about a Pentecostal church or Florida or Waffle House at 3 a.m. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so to produce this, the ideal plan would be to just put it out for free and let the merch pay for it. The, uh, the, the prints, the shirts, the toys, what have you. We already got a few projects going on like this at Project City. Go check them out. We are looking for partners, but it would be dope to kind of fund this maybe even like five minutes at a time, like little snippets, right? Here's a little sneak peek of another project I've been working on. I like this one a lot too, this one's dope. Go over to Project City, see what everybody else is doing. Students are putting up their own projects. Check out the teacher's projects, it's pretty dope. Join the community. Learn from professionals while you're also creating your own projects. 
All right, I'll see you over there, Squirt.